And we turn now to one of the largest sex abuse settlements agreed to by an American university. The announcement from the University of Michigan comes just days after a major shift in management at the school. Our Trevor Alt has this report. The University of Michigan has reached a $490 million settlement with more than 1,000 victims who say they were sexually assaulted by one of the school's former sports doctors. It comes after a string of lawsuits filed mostly by men who claim the late Dr. Robert Anderson sexually abused them during routine medical examinations spanning nearly four decades. As far as the legal aspect, um, the matter is not resolved and they can continue with their healing journey. Dr. Anderson died in 2008. He worked at the university from the late 1960s into the early 2000s, serving as a physician for multiple teams. One report found the alleged abuse was an open secret among some students, and university staff failed to investigate multiple claims or stop the abuse from continuing. Survivors say the university needs to be held accountable. What we're talking about here are crimes that university officials knew about and never reported to the police, to the state medical board, or to anyone else in a position to investigate and potentially prosecute. $30 million from the settlement is being set aside for any future claims of abuse. And the agreement comes on the heels of the abrupt firing just this weekend of University President Mark Schlissel due to an alleged inappropriate relationship with a university employee. The board now appointing former University of Michigan President Mary Sue Coleman as interim president. The university needs to do a hard reset on this whole culture and it needs to be from the top down and also from the bottom up our thanks to trevor hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the abc news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching